So you're coming to us from Sydney, where you're based, I should say that, and I appreciate you getting up early in the morning to do this. So you and I have been talking about biophysics and how it's a new paradigm for health. Could we just take a minute and you explain to us what is biophysics, why is it such a big deal, and how is it that you came to it? Great question. You know, for me, knowing what I know now, it's like the old paradigm is new again. If you go back through history, uh, there are a lot of wonderful people and scientists and medical people who use, I call it vitalism. There are several words for the energy side of the equation of being human. Uh, you've had some terrific speakers um, Thomas Myers did some great work with Rudolf Steiner and, and touched on it. And, of course, Ulrich with her series is just phenomenal. So we, we're getting uh, this old paradigm coming new again. And the big breakthrough is the materialist, which I was brought up as. You know, you've got to measure or observe something for it to be true. We now have tools called quantum mechanics and related quantum electrodynamics where we can actually not actually measure but uh, observe in a way <laughs> without having the observer effect which is another subject altogether the impact of electrons photons protons and how that relates to biology uh, quantum biology is the new science behind uh, biophysics and we are now working out that we're photoelectrical beings as much as we are biochemical beings. And you know, this, this kind of divide and conquer between vitalism and materialism has been going on for the last hundred years or so. And maybe Joseph should write a book about it because I know he could <laughs> dive so well into this subject. And he has a, a, a physics background as well. So maybe one of Joseph, if you're listening, your next book <laughs> maybe could be vitalism <laughs> and materialism because we're moving into this hyper materialist world where everyone wants to live forever. They're going to you know, put nanobots into your cells and eat away different cancers they're going to connect your brain to google they're going to do all these so-called wonderful things but they've forgotten how we have been biologically designed for millions of years to be exposed to natural frequencies those frequencies right. the sun the earth the plants the animals each other those frequencies of what we are designed biologically to be healthy. We, being too smart for our own good, decided we could have all these artificial frequencies, everything from AC power right up now to the 5G millimetre waves, including all the lights and all the artificial frequencies, and then we spend all that time in it and we wonder why we're getting sick. So now we have the biochemical mechanisms and the bio physical processes to explain how this happens and now we know how it happens we can take actions to mitigate that to make sure we can survive this crazy world that we're living in today 